Hello everyone and welcome aboard. Today we are continuing the playthrough of Airport CEO. It's it's a Wednesday. I don't know what else you've really expected. But yes, today we are going to be expanding our medium operations over these stands up to up here. Uh, kind of like I made a rough sketch of it last episode during the time lapse. You may have caught it. If you haven't seen the last episode, uh, there's a playlist on the airport CEO on the channel, and I might link this in the top. Is it the top right? Yeah, top right, if I remember. So, yeah, um, we'll just add some more stands up here and up here. And what else I would like to do is I would like to start, um, I would like to unlock this tile as well. And then just, I guess, and then just kind of expand more of the islands I have, and we might... Eventually, we'll redo this area, but I don't think we're going to get to that today. I think we're just going to do this expansion here. And so, we have to wait for a little bit more money as we don't have very many funds. And last episode, I also decreased uh, the fees, which will increase the satisfaction. So, right now, our average is sitting at 95, uh, which is really good because uh, I would like to get the airport of the year awards um however oh no uh, okay when you hit e accidentally uh i would like to get the airport of the year awards however you have to wait three more years so it looks like on year 11 we'll possibly get the airport ceo or the airport of the year awards and there'll probably be a dedicated episode to that but anyways let's get into it all right, so I guess we're doing another time lapse again. Great, we're we're back in the closet. We're doing it again. I'm gonna be honest. I do have quite a lot of fun putting in the time lapse. Here I'm just putting down some outdoor benches, which I have saved as a template from another airport I did um, a while back. But they're these outdoor bench seatings that I made that I really do like, and so it's quite nice that I get to use them. And here I'm also adding some more just bus shelters um, just for people waiting for the bus. A couple more lights just on the outside as it is pretty dark at night. So one thing you need to watch out for an airport CEO is that your pedestrian areas do get very dark. And I just realized my phone, which is what I'm using to record this audio, is at 10%. So um, hopefully it survives long enough. I mean, like in this episode, there's what? There's like... 15 minutes of time lapse, I think, which means you have to listen to me ramble on for about 15 minutes, or you could just click off, which I, I, please know. Um, here we're just building a underground parking lot, um, because of the one that was on the floor above it, I had to demolish it because, why did I, right, because I wanted to build the pedestrian path from the baggage claim area to the uh, subway exit. And um, spoiler alert, I do think I ended up deleting this parking lot because all the parking lots in airport CEO, if they're not hooked up on their own kind of like closed loop, which I don't really have enough space for. If, oh yeah, here I'm building that pathway I was talking about. If they're not hooked up on that closed, on a closed like loop, or just directly to a tunnel, basically. They do clog up your uh, your system, which is what's happening here. Here I'm just building an escalator up, and I believe that I am right now just screwing around with the windows and everything to try and fit an elevator in, which I do manage to fit in, but like I said, I think I do end up just going and deleting it all, which is honestly kind of a shame because I really like the way it turned out. Then I'm just adding some walk to make it a little bit faster, some a nice bit of seating there, and then I'm just looking at all the issues with the people, which basically, I couldn't figure out what it was, but when I deleted the, the drop-off point, apparently it all started working, so I don't really know what that was about, but yeah, I guess that's good. We're also adding another way up uh, from the underground means moving in some self-check-in areas and then we're just making that tunnel a little wider to allow that another issue i did have was that when when building this um we and i opened up the new gates 
Uh, oh, I haven't gotten to that yet. I guess we'll talk about that in another time lapse because we do have another time lapse coming in later. Oh, here we go. We're starting to build the new area. It is. It does look very similar to what I planned out last episode. Actually, I'm very happy. Here we have a little split in like the terminal area to allow the service road through. But overall, like the proportions and the dimensions and everything are basically the same as what I planned out last episode. So uh, past me did plan it out well and I had tons of space. It was very nice to do. And you see here, I'm just copy and pasting in the self boarding into this uh, because the thing with the self boarding is that they're, they're, they're basically kind of like the meta for boarding in airport CEO because you can have a lot of them which will board your passengers really, really quickly. And here you can see I just got rid of that um, that car drop-off point because it was kind of an issue. And here I'm deleting the service road uh, to put in the, do, 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 the bit of terminal. Uh, that bit of terminal will become kind of like a filter for like the escalators. And here I just realized my weather cycle is disabled, so I turned that on. Uh, that little area does kind of act as like a staircase area. So if you're on the top and you want to go down, to like baggage claim or you want to go down to the tunnels when we have future islands um that is the way you can go down here and here i'm just adding a couple elevators and a bunch of hedges a small staff door which spoil spoiler alert i do end up getting rid of that wall um because it does improve the flow of people better when you get rid of that wall and then i'm just adding a way down to the bottom floor adding some elevators and then down here i believe i start building yes i start the secure checkpoints and then i will start building the oh emergency flight we gotta gotta squeeze that in there and then that little thing up at the top there is where the walkalators will go uh when we go to expand and here i'm just going ahead and expanding uh, the baggage facilities. Uh, I think we'll do a new baggage area down there too and a new baggage handling thingamajiggy. I don't know what it's called uh, down there as well uh, just for Yeah, because then the stands on the top are gonna be on their own system because you know uh, I ran out of space um, Here we're just adding some more gateboarding. I like to do this strategy where or gate seating I like to do the strategy where you build the seating like you just fill it all with seating and then you go back and delete it to add like shops or um restrooms or whatever but we don't really have that much room in this terminal so there's not going to be many bathrooms on the top floor which is why i am putting down those escalators there which will go to a bottom floor uh the bottom floor is going to have like bathrooms and um airport lounges and here i'm just building a duty th th free thing and here i'm using the um the type of flooring to kind of create a path because when you walk through airports with like duty three free duty three duty free uh they kind of filter you along like this windy path through all of them and i guess i'm doing the same although a lot of people they don't really appreciate the difference in floorings in the past and they just kind of skip through uh the big shop on the left of this the bottom left of the screen right now um and you know uh, i mean like they're they're still getting exposure to the shop so that's that's nice and here we are building the bottom uh airport ceo still is a thing where if you get rid of a hedge it gets rid of the secure zone i really wish they had something that was like if everything around a wall or hedge is like a certain zone and then that one's deleted just to like fill that one tile with like that zone that's encompassing it i mean that'd be really really nice to do um and oh wait we're done we're in a live play right now oh oh i over talked a bit ah all right everyone so i've just finished building hopefully you've enjoyed the time lapse i i really like doing the voiceovers i find them quite amusing anyways so what we now have is we have it all planned out. I guess you saw it get built, but I'll just do a quick explanation. Down here, I cut this part out because it was just pretty boring and tedious. Basically, we've hooked it up to our regular system with Piltray over to this um, 
baggage handling thingamabobber, and then we also have the baggage claim area over here, which is also hooked up via tilt tray. That's all great. And then the secure exit up here, as you've seen. Then up here, we have a little way for our staff, a little staircase up here. Over here, we have some washrooms because there wasn't enough room on the other floor. And these will eventually be airline lounges as well as this, which I think I will do after once we start building. Then up here, we have our duty-free area, a shop, and then all the gate seating. So with that all being said, Let's get building. All right, everyone. So everything is now completely built. I did just have issues assigning um, vehicles to stands for efficiency and I was getting all mixed up. So I did have to go through, uh, sell them all and then reassign all of them. And while I did that, I also renamed every gate uh, in accordance to their class. So Sierra for small and Mike for medium and then Lima will be for large and then numbers so that I can easily tell which vehicles at which. Um, signing vehicles to sand stands, especially like pushback trucks and uh, belt loaders and um, baggage trucks, are they just increase the efficiency and speed of the airport, so we did that. But I think now we're actually good to go to open up all of these stands here. So I'm just gonna shift click them all and press open. And now we have tons more slots, so I think what we are going to actually start doing is we're going to go for the extended commercial, or the ultimate commercial license, which will take us quite a while to do, so we'll just get that going. We've also maxed out um, the program groups just to increase our efficiency a little bit, and in that, and now I think we will go ahead and sign some new airlines because we do have a lot of slots. I think we'll go ahead and sign Air Strata. Uh, we fly their regional. And I also think we should go ahead and sign Crown Airlines. Um, we'll go ahead and sign Zoom. And we'll fly uh, sign Stripe Air Regional and Stripe Air. And I think that should be good for now. Now, we should get a bunch more planes in later. Uh, once I turn back on the auto planner. Uh, we'll get a bunch of planes in, in a little bit. Let's see if it updates. Nope, nothing yet. But anyways, once the planes get in, we will uh, make some more profit. Also, I deactivated the services. And so we are losing quite a bit of money. And so I would just like to go on and turn back on the ramp agent, the avgas, the jet A, the de-icing, and the baggage handling service. Uh, we'll let that all start up once more. What is the issue here? Baggage bay isn't connected. Right. Uh, so we have a new baggage bay down here for these stands. We'll connect you to you. Then up here, are you guys connected? You are Huh, which baggage bays are connected? Let's check. Alright, so you are connected to all of you. Okay, so we'll make this row and the other row the one for these gates. To wrap this, before we wrap this episode up, I think we'll add a couple in the airline lounge here, here, and then one here as well as here and here. And so let's get back into another time lapse. Hey everyone, it's recording me back again, literally right after recording last time lapse. So my phone's now at 7%, which is even better. Now we are getting into building the aircraft or the airport lounges, aircraft lounges, um, the airport lounges. And I had a pretty fun time actually building all of these they were they were quite nice to build and it was quite nice to see a lot of people uh in fact using the lounges they are all pretty similar but each one does have a have like a minor variation and its own uh style so the general airport just airport lounges like anyone can use them regardless of their airline 
Um, they do get used quite a lot, and they are pretty nice. I like the way they turned out, as well as all the um, carrier-specific uh, airline or yeah, airline lounges. And then we're also just adding windows all the way around because it's really cool when you sit in like a lounge and you can just see like from all sides, you can just see straight into the uh, the apron. I find that really, really cool whenever I'm in an airport. And here I'm just expanding um, the default airline lounge. Yes, that's the word for it. And uh, we're doing this interesting seating plan for the middle here. Fortunately, the couches on the bottom aren't within the lounge, so they do just kind of fill in regardless of the time. It doesn't matter if it's open or closed because they can just walk through. Uh, but that doesn't really matter too much, honestly, as long as it's getting used and providing seating, which it is, it's pretty nice. Also, another thing to talk about, uh, while I was doing this time lapse, actually, I think in like a couple more seconds you're gonna have to see a cut, which is me restarting the game, because all the flights uh, became super delayed, because basically none of the ramp agents were doing ramp agent rounds and servicing any of the planes whatsoever which was really painful. I had no clue what was happening, so I made some more staff rooms and stuff, but nothing worked. So at the end, I just ended up restarting the game and all of a sudden it just started working. So I don't know if anything weird happens in Airport CEO, I guess it's just restarting is what just needs to happen. Uh, here we are making, I believe this is the Maple Lounge up here. I, I really like, yes, this is the Maple Lounge. I really like the way the Maple um, Lounge turned out, actually, with the color palette. I think it looks really, really good, and it's just a nice lounge. Each lounge, as well, also has their own uh, private washroom for the lounge, uh, as I found that when, when you go sneaking into a lounge, they do tend to each have their own, like, separate washroom, which is, uh, which is honestly pretty nice, because then there's not, like, the big crowd of people in an airport washroom during like peak hours and here we are i believe we are making another airport lounge i'm also just extending that staff room a little bit because that hallway right there is kind of pointless and here i realized that a lot of people were um were congregating near the boarding stands so i just added two more boarding 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 desks uh, automated boarding desk to each gate so that brings a to total up to six and with six uh, boarding desks the airplanes do board themselves really really fast it's actually pretty insane um, and here we are making the goose airline lounge uh, with this one I did go for those cafe seating uh, the cafe seating and then here I'm placing the logo looking at the logo to try and get the correct uh, colors for the theming of that of that what whoa whoa that was a big pause uh the correct theming of that airline lounge and here i'm just building a staff only washroom as we were lacking one here and uh yeah i i'm not sure what to talk about i have like five more minutes to fill so i guess to say it if you are here listening to me just pointlessly ramble on. I don't know what's happening anymore. If you are here, chances are, no, 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 don't skip it. You're enjoying this, okay? I know it's a little hard to listen. Chances are you're actually enjoying this, which is weird because small channel, no one's watching this. I mean, you could be my friend and you're listening to this. That's kind of expected if, if you're my friend. I don't have very many, but you know, that's kind of expected. But if you, if you don't know me, and you just clicked on this video by random, first and foremost, I apologize. I'm very sorry for, uh, for, for dooming you with this, but, um, please, please guys, guys, 100 subs, end of year, that's definitely not gonna happen, but, um, I, I, I mean, I can still hope, I can, I can still hope, and, uh, here we are now making the Fly Penguin Lounge. I also got rid of the staff room's washroom, and, or the staff room and I relocated or I just got rid of the staff room there to make the private washroom for the fly penguin here we are taking a dramatic pause because I was too lazy to go through and edit that out here we're just re-signing some shops because shops are greedy they demand a lot and sometimes I can't but like the area won't sell 300 whatever's a day so yeah um 
yeah we're just placing seating here and i think we're wrapping it up here i think those are all the lounges completed yep we're just theming with the gold and black which i do end up switching i do end up making the couch is all black and the seats all gold but that's it for now i'll see ya all right everyone so welcome back um so we have the airline lounges now completed and everything which is great so added a little tunnel down here just so that the baggage could be going slightly faster also it's it's dirty down here so we'll just hire some more janitors really quickly here. Oh, those are mine. Janitors, uh, we'll just hire all of these guys. All right, and before we go, it looks like we are running short on small aircraft flights. So before we go, I would just like to accept some small carriers. Um, hmm, let's think this through. So we got airlines. I think we'll go for, okay, only has medium. Havana has small. Jumper, we'll take jumper. Uh, coast to coast. And to Edwards Bay. End the episode here for today. It's been another long one. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!